two bells ring at intervals of 35 and 42 minutes respectively. The bells ring together at 8.48 a.m. Determine the time when the bells will ring together again. Three marks. So in order to find how long they will take in order to ring back together, we shall get the least common multiple of 35 and 42. So how do we get the LCM of these numbers? So the LCM of 35 and 42. These shall give us the time in minutes of which they will take in order to ring together. So to get the LCM, there are two methods. There's this method, um, there's a factor method. We're going to use both of them. So divide, start by dividing by the least uh, prime number, that is uh, two. Divide everything by two. Uh, Why we can't divide completely, like 35 can't be divided by completely by two, by, by two, we just leave it like that. So this will be 21. Then divide by three, this will be 35, this will be 7. Divide everything by 5, you get 7, here you get 7. So in cases where you find like 7 can't be divided by 5 completely, just leave it as 7. Then 7 divided by 7, this is 1, 1. So the LCM therefore is 2 multiplied by 3 by 5 by 7. Multiplying these, you get um, 6 multiplied by 15. This will give 210 minutes. So 210 minutes is the time that will be taken uh, for the bells to ring again. There is a second method that you can use, and this is uh, the method of using the factors, the factors method, where you get the factors of 35, factors of 35, divide 35 by 5, you get 7, then divide 7 by 7, you get 1. So the factors of 35 are therefore 5 and 7. Get the factors of 42 as well. Divide 42 by 2 to get 21. Divide 21 by 3 to get 7. Divide 7 by 7 to get 1. So the factors of 42 will be 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 7. So these are the factors. So you have um, 5, you therefore have 5 multiplied by 7 for that 5 and 2 multiplied by 3 by 7. So what we do, we, to get the LCM using the factor method, we pick all the factors that are um, present in that 5 and 42, but in cases where we have a repeated factor, like 7 is a repeated factor, we just pick it once. So we have 2, we have 3, multiplied by 3, then we have 5, and then for 7, since it is common, repeated in both our numbers, we just pick it once. And this will give us uh, six. It will give us the same thing: 210 minutes. Now, 210 minutes convert 210 minutes um, to hours, and this will give three hours and 30 minutes. 8:48 a.m. You add three hours and 30 minutes to find the time in the ring again, and this will give 12:18 p.m.